What's up, War Report family? We are back with another great edition of Facts and All. It's Iron Bowl edition. Fellas, y'all ready to do this? Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, fellas. Facts or all, Auburn's defense will hold Bryce Young to under 350 yards passing in this week's Iron Bowl. What are we thinking? No. I just don't see it happening. And our pass defense has been our Achilles heel all season just based on how we like to play in a bend but don't break type of style and I know that's been aggravating for fans but I do see Bryce Young being able to pick his spots uh, be able to take advantage of throwing short to intermediate passes especially slant routes Um, I actually see him being able to move the ball between the 20s really well the hope though is that once he gets into the red zone our defense is able to do what they've been doing uh, pretty well throughout the season and that's holding teams to field goals instead of marching into the end zone Uh, but I think based on what we've seen so far with also great passers uh, they've had a lot of success against our secondary and in our defense I don't see that changing here the hope is that when they get into the red zone we hold them so that's the hope I'm going now here he throws for over 300 feet I'm going to say nah, we don't hold him to under 350, but we should be able to pressure him some, and that hasn't mattered too much because Bama hasn't looked unstoppable on offense in any game they've played. However, they eventually get their numbers because they keep chipping away at you, and our defense, honestly, I don't know how much confidence we can have being what we've seen against Mississippi State. That secondary got lit up. Um, we didn't get lit up against South Carolina, but we did look out of position a few times. We still got some discipline problems, some schematic and, and personnel problems back there. And I don't think you fix those problems on the weekend where you're seeing the second best passer come to your to, to come to your field. So I'm going to say, nah, we don't hold them to under 350. I don't know what you fellas are talking about, but I'm going big time gnaw on this one. <laughs> it's an extra gnaw. It's a hell no. There's zero way we hold them under 350. Listen, last week at Arkansas, Arkansas held Bama to 112 yards rushing and Bryce Young threw for over 550 yards passing. He's the best quarterback in the conference under pressure. The only quarterback that even comes close is Will Rogers, and he's throwing for a million yards a game as well, too. I can't see it. We could possibly stop their run game, but Bryce Young definitely goes off. It is what it is. Nah. Nah. All right, guys. Facts or nah? Kobe Hudson will be Auburn's leading receiver against Bama. What do you guys think about that? I am going to say facts. Kobe Hudson comes back after missing the game against South Carolina. He gets back into his groove as the number one wide receiver. He looked like he was becoming against Mississippi State, and he's the target that T.J. Finley needs, and he catches over 100 yards for this game, which will be the most among all our wide receivers. Maybe the tight ends get a little work, too. Who knows? I don't know. But, Kobe, yeah, facts. Yeah, I'm going facts on this one. We need him. The last game proved it. We need him. So, TJ Finley is going to need as many quality targets as he can get in this one if he's going to try to lead us to an Iron Bowl upset. So, I'm going facts on this one. Kobe has been a natural wide receiver all year. I expect him to be natural AF in this one. Facts. Kobe. Over 100. I'm going to go for a clean sweep here and say facts as well. I perceive that uh, Kobe will definitely be our leading receiver returning from injury. And I just think that in terms of getting separation against a very physical, aggressive, handsy Bama secondary, Kobe Hudson is going to be your guy to make those types of catches. Uh, Finley, it doesn't appear, has built a lot of rapport with the tight ends. He didn't throw to them a lot in last week's game. That could change this week, but I think in terms of making some downfield throws, Kobe's your guy, Uh, especially if he returns. I expect him to be uh, receive a lot of targets from TJ, and I think he'll end up being Auburn's leading receiver against Bama. So, facts. All right, fellas, facts or not? So, Kobe McLean gets at least 12 tackles against Bama and reaches 100 tackles for the regular season. What do we think? Come on, guys. You already know I'm going facts on this one. This is one of the best tacklers in the country. Two years running. I expect there's going to be lots of opportunities to make tackles on defense. And this one, 
So I expect them to easily get 12 to 15 tackles in this game where Bama's going to be trying to move the ball up and down the field on us. He's the best tackler in the country. He's going to make them. He doesn't miss often. Facts, he gets to 100 tackles this season in the Iron Bowl. I'm actually going to go facts here as well. He actually got 13 tackles against Mississippi State, and we know how much they like to throw the football. So I think against Bama, who may run the ball a little bit more than Mississippi State did, there's going to be plenty of opportunities. You know he's going to get up for this game. This will be his last Iron Bowl. He definitely wants to leave a mark, play his heart out, and I think he will end up, once this game is over, having 100 tackles on the season, in the regular season, getting 12 against Bama facts I'm gonna say facts as well 12 tackles in the game is a tall task he's done it enough that it doesn't seem like a tall task but it is when you're passing the ball as much as Bama does want to pass it may be a little difficult but like C just said hey Mississippi State that's all they do is throw and he had more than 12 so I think he will do it can do it I think senior night is a very underrated motivation for a lot of these guys who either definitely are are four years or are juniors and they don't plan on coming back and everybody pretty much knows it so I think that extra motivation the mark he wants to leave also being snubbed for the linebacker award which he actually said out loud okay bet when they snubbed him for that Zacoby still got something to prove. I think he proves it. I think he gets that 100 regular season tackles this year, facts. Well, you guys know what time it is. It's time for our fan question of the week. This week's fan question comes from our guy, AU underscore boy. That's I destroy you two on Twitter. And he asks, facts or no, Tank Bixby will get the 60 yards he needs versus Alabama this Saturday to be our first thousand yard rusher since 2017. Fellas. What are you thinking? Facts. Of course he's going to get at least 60 yards because if he doesn't, that spells doom for our offense. Okay, He's going to have to get at least a hundy in this game to at least balance us out, create opportunities for Finley. I think he gets at least 60. Definitely will pass 1,000 yards this season, regular season, first time in a few years. So, yes, Tank is the guy. We said he'll do it in the beginning of the season. He's on pace to do it, and he will do it. Facts. Yeah, I say facts as well. 60 isn't that big a number. This Alabama defense isn't really that stout. I don't think it's too hard to get that on him. The only question will be, will they run him enough if the numbers are just under? Let's say it's late third. He's got 55 yards rushing or something like that on 10 carries, and they don't go to him again. Now, hey, that wouldn't be my decision. You know, that, that's the offensive coordinator's decision. You know, I, who, who knows what he'll decide to do. But I still think they do it because they want him to get that mark. Maybe in previous years, I know Malzahn liked to be able to tout a thousand yard rusher to the next running back. I don't think this coaching staff is as concerned about that advertisement as Malzahn was, but I still think it's a major accomplishment that you want to get your back and you definitely want him to get it against Bama. So I say facts. Yeah, I'm going facts on this one. Don't got to spend a lot of time here. They're going to give the ball to Tank the requisite amount of times for him to get to a paltry 60 yards to reach a thousand yards this season if we don't if he doesn't it's gonna be a long day on saturday so i'm going facts well that's it for another great edition of facts or not listen we want to hear from you so if you want to get your question featured on this segment hit us up instagram twitter hashtag facts or not and we'll pick your question for our next segment other than that, you guys know where to find us. We are The War Report on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, TW Report on TikTok. Check us out on Facebook. Also, we're signing off. And as always, War Eagle.